Game one, we're going to Smashville. Then hope we're actually playing Cloud this time. Luigi did really well against Luenzo, but he's gonna make us watch the charge for uh, we get 10 seconds before the fight actually starts. Ignis is gonna take it, take the first stock. I think he tried to dash there to get a grab on the shield pressure, or the shield stun. You know, has been doing a really good job controlling the game, building up. Delphi was percent really well, hasn't, meanwhile Delphi hasn't been able to close out. That's another Ignis. He said not to let him, not to give him the master seal. But you gave him the master seal. And now he's a grandmaster. That's the matchup. Adding half his, adding half his magic stack to every. Did you hit my arc Sorry. Feels bad. Sorry. Take that stock. It's game two. Bell Hubble decided, no, Cloud is not gonna work, I'm gonna go Luigi. I'm gonna try to get some combos going. He started to do a good job, but Johan was able to break through the pressure eventually. Ooh. That was a clean stock. It's clean. Johan trying to even things back up. Oh, that could have been uh, a lot worse. For either player, actually. Like, uh, that probably tried to capitalize on the hog fire, but the tone dropped and it canceled out what hit him out of the animation of whatever. Bill Pepper was doing a really good job of controlling this game, contrary to how the last game went. Luigi Switch looking like it's paying off dividends already. <laughs> we'll uh, back it up up there to the back of the edge jump, down smash. Maybe one, just like one good half stage, and I could easily take it. Oh, and he almost got the uh, the down beat. Whoa, that was weird. Up it is not quite gonna take it. Back throw is gonna do it. Bell people takes game two. Chile's 
Alright, so Game Field is going to go to Battlefield. The whole trying to establish the dominance he had last game. The game's probably going to not have to as good of a start as it was. Although, Belho is still cleanly in control of the game. Like, uh, Johan dropped at Levin Sword, or, yeah, Levin Sword. And he was able to break out of the grab so that the Pepper would have had otherwise. Yeah, it's not. That wasn't the ideal outcome, but he got what he wanted. So he, he, he got the ideal outcome, not the way he wanted. Stock to stock, though. He'll gladly take that. Ailes coming out. He's doing Luigi things. Johan's gonna manage to back it out of that. Third time. I'm gonna stop by that. Oh, and he texted that time. But he's still in a kind of sketchy spot. I tried to ledge trap, but he didn't actually get off stage. Oh, this Winston Repeat he's got going? I'm sure he'll gladly take, because... Well, he messed it up that time, but... Each time he's getting more damage, eventually... Get the kill. Almost took it. Softback is not quite going to do it. Misses the Elven Spike, so Belkov was going to manage to make it back. The... Elkfile on the edge is going to... When's the elf thunder? They're not quite gonna do it. Elk thunder into down smash. It's gonna kill Luigi off the top. So Johan now having gotten rid, gotten rid of Belkov's full stock, it's still in a really bad spot. So game four going back to Battlefield. Johan believes this is the stage he needs, what he wants to do, and he believes he can do it a lot better than he just did. So they're going to keep throwing projectiles out until the time runs out. As much as it pains me to say, being the final fan that I am, that is not a battle that Johan wants to keep going because he will lose his tome. Oh, guess by the same token, he loses the tome and now has like a really strong projectile. What is it like? 10% easy for just like one item? I don't know the exact number. Maybe he'll land it in a second, I'll be able to tell you. Oh, he misses the tongue. Fraud. Alright, so Johan with a clean lead this game, but as I say that, Belhebo gets his grab, and we've seen what he can do off of one grab. Is that gonna. Oh my god. 27%. Forty was gonna do that was a clean edge shot. He's not quite gonna do it. He's gonna miss the L1 spike. He's gonna clank with the tornado. So after all that, Belford was still alive, still kicking. Grab. He's getting his forties. But Johan's got four deals too. Ah, uh, he missed the uh, either grab or he missed whatever he was trying to do. That's gonna take it. One stock apiece, Johan at 29%. Man, I gotta say, like, since the since all the notes, like the recent patches, are uh, not recent anymore, uh, you don't see the Ouija as much, and it feels like people stop talking about him, but Bad Pebble is putting on a show right now. Showing like, hey, this code is still really good. He's still got a lot of stuff he can do. This is a tome. 
Ah, he dropped it and missed. I barely noticed it. I wonder if Bethel did, because it was like super subtle. With the checkmate, he's gonna get it that time. Johan manages to win that back from dying at 27%. Took like 77% of that game. And it was still really close. <laughs> Alright, so for game five, this final game of Losers Finals, going to Final Destination. Both of them getting eliminated by Jesus and Winnow's side. So they both won this run back. Delphi was starting to get his clean start going, the uh Grabs and aliens. Oh yeah, Johan 52%. Johan just trying to get back on stage. Drops Fire Tome. Doesn't quite get it. Don't have to be able to drift a little bit into the stage to get around. I thought I was going to clank on the fireball, but definitely still going to shield anyways and get grabbed out of it. Goes for the Ignis because the hit was blocked, he couldn't actually get anything off of it. Both at fairly high percent, either one could die with one good edge guard. We've already seen what Bevo can do when given an opening both on stage and off stage. And he's got a nice, good rinse and repeat, somatic edge guard going on Johan. Forward smash, not quite gonna take it, Johan's gonna get the shield up in time. Now he's got Johan back off stage. Johan goes to the Elk File. Checkmate's gonna take it. Johan's gonna take the close stock of this final game, loses finals. Bell, Pepp Bell Peppel now on tournament stock. Oh, really? And Johan now on tournament stock as <laughs> Bell Peppel spot dodges through the down smash and then up smashes. Saying, you want your gun back, but I want my gun back too. Bellhub is content just to keep throwing fireballs. Oh. Johan's practicing foul shield. Now it's too far away, so he's gonna charge. Okay, this wasn't so bad if he finished charging if he stopped on his own. Fulon feels like such an underwhelming move. Maybe it's just me. But it's like, when you combine a follow up with the opportunity for follow up, Ultimate is just better in like almost any situation except for like teams where Fulon will penetrate and hit everyone. I'm sure it's situational and it's got its uses, but I don't know, that's how it feels to me. Anyway, so both have gotten give it a damage, I feel like you have gotten any little combos going. As I said, that uh, Johan at 92% off stage. Bell probably just needs one good clean opening and he can really easily take the stock. But I say that Johan's trying to show Ooh my god, the tome toss. Oh and he misses the downhill. Oh but it's still It was such a clean edge guard that looked really sloppy. That's all I'm gonna say. 